Salom family. So I thought I'd share with you, I am digging and drilling into the names of God to give you guys more meat around those bones, more depths to the understanding, and we're going to cover those in Hebrew word studies. But an interesting thing for you to know as well as we get into it is there are seven names of God specifically that the Jews hold as very important and very dear. The names of God once written, according to the Jews, cannot be erased because of their holiness. They are the Tetragrammaton, which is Yahweh, Y-H-B-H, -H, then Adonai, El, Elohim, Shaddai, Tsevahot, and I am that I am, Eyer Asher Eyer. In addition, the name Yah, because it forms part of Yahweh, is similarly protected. Tsevahot, a common name in the second century, and Elohim, they say, should be one. And all other names, such as merciful, gracious, and faithful, represent attributes common to human beings. So interesting, the seven that they've picked, and we'll cover them in time, they are at a point in their walk, in their journey, having rejected Christ and drifted, where they don't even want to write down the name of God because then you can't erase it due to its holiness. They don't want to say the name of God, and I've covered that in previous videos, which led to confusion in translation by non-Jews when they translated to Scripture and into the Bible. That they would rather say Lord whenever they saw the name Yahweh that they were supposed to be saying. So they won't say it. And now they've reached a point in Israel where they will say Hashem, the name, because they don't even want to say any name of God. And so you see a drift away and distance building where there's supposed to be this deep closeness and personal relationship that God desires with his people. How sad is that? I'll never forget when I was in Israel, I saw a painting in Jerusalem and it touched me deeply. And if I close my eyes, I can see that painting in front of my eyes to this day. It was a painting of the Western Wall, the Wailing Wall, where they all go and pray, which is not even part of the temple that was destroyed. It's part of the outer, outer wall that was on the perimeter of the temple, but all that's left. And the picture is these Jews and rabbis and children all praying and davening. It's when they bob up and down like this by the wall and praying and calling on God. And coming through the wall with a prayer shawl over his shoulders is Yeshua with his arms stretched wide. And they don't see him. He wants relationship. He wants closeness. He desires intimacy. And the enemy is making sure to drive as much distance and separation between man and God, his people and God as he can. So always draw near to God and he will draw near to you. God bless. Have a great day. Shalom.